Welcome back guys. Today we are going to see practical guide for taking the length of a baby. So the length is different from the height. Height is taken when you are standing, the length is taken when someone is lying. A length is taken in baby and then height is taken in those who are who can stand. So step number one. We need to explain the procedure to the mother. Said we are going to take the length of this baby for this, this. Because you want to know how the baby is growing. That one will make the mother to cooperate. That one will get one mark. And then you need to wash your hand. Hand hygiene. That one also one mark. So you need to set the necessary equipment. But in this, mostly the scenarios you'll get when the equipment has already been set. So this one is like a free map to you. Then place the measuring board horizontally on the ground or on the table. You can put it on the ground or on the table. Depending on what you have, it is not a mass that it should be on the table. If you can put it on the ground, it's okay. If you can put it on the table, it is okay. And then, with the help of one or two assistants, you need to ask for assistance also. Place the baby barefooted without head covering on the measuring board and the head against the fixed or non-movable end and mostly if you see that height board the one they use for measuring the length and the height it, it has the side which is fixed and the side which is adjustable so you make the head to be on that part which is fixed and then the leg on the other side which is adjustable so this one will help you to adjust that one will get three marks the mark is three then assistant gently handle the baby's head so that the eyes are pointed straight up and apply gentle traction to bring the top of the child's head into contact with the fixed end of the measuring board so you just make the attendant to handle like this, see, straight, like horizontal to the, the other fixed end of the board. So if this is the board, the hand will, it will be just like this, like the way you are doing the height. It will just be straight, horizontally. So this one will get also three marks. Then, another step is you, you hold the child's knees, you know the knees, mm -hmm. together and push down against the table with one hand fully extending, fully extending the child, slide the movable foot piece to the child's feet until the heels of both feet touch the foot piece so if this is the movable part this is the foot you should make sure that they come like this like this this one will be the foot this one will be the movable feet of the other part of the eye board so you need to make them be like or us horizontal up like the very same way of the head Make them to be horizontally the other side. So max here is three also. Then remove the child's feet immediately from the contact. This one is also three marks. Then read the nearest 0 0.1 centimeter and record. This one you get one mark. And then thank the mother. Remember to thank the mother. For cooperation. This one also one mark. Then clear 
the procedure way. Don't forget to record. Anything you have done, record it down. That is the rule. Anything which is not recorded is not done. So you write it down. So in summary, you need to explain the procedure to the mother and then you wash your hand. The equipment has already been set for you. If it is not, you set. And then place the measuring board horizontally on the first surface, whether the table or the ground. And then you need to ask for an assistant who is going to help you under the aid of the patient. And then you also put the patients on the board and then you help under the head, the leg to be straight on the board. Then with the other hand you slide. Make sure that you detach the feet of the baby and then you remove the baby immediately or you record. You remove the baby and then you, re you read to the nearest 0 0.1 centimeter. You record your findings and then you, you thank the mother, you record your findings and then you clear away. So that is all. You follow these steps and you get your 20 marks in this question. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.